Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 61 of my Ark Survival Evolve Ragnarok Let's Play series. So today, I want to try and get an Arthra Plura. Now to get an Arthra Plura, we're going to need woolly rhino horns. So basically, I should pick up that Spino at some point too. We have to go to about 45 lat and 45 longitude, roughly in that area. We need to kill some woolly rhinos to get those horns, so I probably should take my winter gear with me. Three, four, five. And I have to remember that if I don't have the backpack on, that I can get killed. We're going to need something with a bit of weight. Um, yet fast at the same time. What's the Tapajera got? Hmm. You know, it will boost your weight just for that fact. And let's also just get rid of this shit. Stupid skins. Wish there was a way I could just like, you know, maybe a different menu for the skins. Something like that would be really nice. Um, this guy should be able to kill them relatively easily. At least that's the idea. How much element have I got on me? 38. Yeah, I could give him some if we get desperate. Um, I think I've got everything I'd need, really. Like, i got food. I'll top up my water. That is not what I wanted to do. Can I have that back, please? Uh, thank you. This is where I was supposed to put it. There we go. Uh, and let's just get that out, that out. Um, the bowler I'll keep, the tranks I'll keep just in case. I don't think I'm going to try and tame one today. It is a long way to bring it back here. I may have to make another base for dinos that spawn only on that side of the map. And we can occasionally go over and try them out and all that kind of stuff, you know. Alright. So, how much food have I got on me? 51. I'd like a little bit more if I have it. Um, alright, I do. Just like, yeah, we go. Put that down there. Beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be going and getting the woolly rhino horns. Now with the woolly rhinos, they will um their horns will spawn in their inventory. They won't be just like they won't, you know. You don't get them from harvesting their body. You have to collect them from the inventory. So I have to remember to do that when I kill them, that I have to check their inventory and not just harvest them by accident. So I've got to be very careful with that. It's going to take me a little bit to get over there. So I will cut and I'll see you guys and girls in a moment. All right, guys and girls, we have made it over here. Now what I'm going to do... I know it seems cruel, but it also means I won't accidentally harvest them. And we are already going to take health damage being in this area, even though I'm wearing my full snow gear. So we're going to have to, like, come in and out of here really quickly. You serious, dude? You didn't get... You, you didn't drop one? I thought it was a guarantee. Oh my god, I'm going to actually die. Fuck. Alright, we're going to get out of here. This is ridiculous. I'm taking way too much health damage. Okay. We can eat, though, to get a little bit of a health pack. We we may have to start bringing, like, uh, medical brews with us when we come over to places like this, because otherwise we just get fucked. We're going to need at least five, I believe, for a broth of enlightenment. Oh god, be careful, be very... Alright. Another pass. There we go. Okay. Just gotta be careful, I've gotta remember I don't have my, my jet pack on. Can we just stop this, please? I, 
picked up stones. Let me on you. I'm going to stand here. Please land. Just fucking land. We'll do that. That's fine. Thank you. Holy hell. How are we going to get this? Um... Because if I switch over to my tech gear, I'm probably going to be too cold, right? I should also buff the gamma. Uh, I need back, and I need boots. Mainly, just so I don't take full damage. There we go. Ah, uh, we got two, so far. Alright, let's just... We don't have the thrusters going forward. It looks like we're okay wearing just this stuff, so we'll leave it on. Oh man, that guy hit a, a decently hard, level 140. Alright, that's three. Four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's five for a broth of enlightenment. And we're only, for a 150 uh, after a plural, we're only going to need just the one. Like, just the one broth of enlightenment. It normally takes three on standard servers. For me, it'll only take one or 15 times taming. Float around. I want to see if I can, like, just get one that's down in this area so I don't have to go back right into the snow. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Like, I might have to go back up there, unfortunately. Just have to make sure that if I get ice cubed, I have to be very, very careful, because we die very, very quickly. I'm trying to not eat as well, so I can, you know, heal more if we do start to take health damage. Alright, uh, yep, beautiful, perfect. Might only need to kill that one. Check it out, though. Yep, that's it. Alright. Catch you later, homie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the base now, and we will get this Broth of Enlightenment made. Alright, guys and girls, so I've got everything I need in here right now to make this, uh... This broth of enlightenment. I just need some wood, if I can. Oh, we had a woolly rhino horn. That's kind of annoying. Doesn't really matter, though, too much. Let's get this thing lit up. So, what you need is you need 10 medjo berries. I've got 30 in there, but you only need 10. You need 2 rock carrot, 2 long grass, 2 savaroot, 2 citronol, 5 deaf worm horn or woolly rhino horns, 1 black pearl, and 1 water to make the broth of enlightenment. Not only is the Broth of Enlightenment used to tame the Arthropleura as its favourite food, but you can also use it to increase your XP for 20 minutes, I believe is what it is. Uh, provides 150% experience for its full duration of 20 minutes. This does not affect shared XP earned from a tribe. Oh, there we go, baby. We got the Broth of Enlightenment. Uh, we're going to put this armour away as well. Now, there is one more thing I want to do, and that is make an Arthropleurus saddle. Alright, as you can see, the Arthropleurus saddle takes 15 cementing paste, 50 fiber, 8 flint, 80 hide, 30 metal, 35 obsidian, and 20 wood to craft. Let's get that crafted up. What is the spoil time on the Broth Enlightenment? 5 hours. Okay. At least for me, it's 5 hours. Now, I know people always ask about my rates in uh, ARC. The main rates are like, uh, I believe, 15 times gathering, 15 times taming, uh, 10 times XP. Can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I think that's all. Like, there's a bunch of other little rates changed. I'd have to take, a f I'd have to take multiple screenshots or do a separate video for you guys and girls to really show it off. Alright, so now all we've got to do is find some Arthropleura. Now, I know some of them spawn back here because I've seen them before. A couple Carnos. I know they can spawn back where the Thylers spawn near the beach. Over this side of the map. 
I've seen them roaming the lands before. I fucking hate the things. They creep me out, honestly. Like, centipedes and shit in real life, just... Bleh. Not my thing, honestly. But, in Ark, it's just a little... It's just a cool dino to see. Alright, guys and girls. I've been searching around for about half an hour just to try and find an Ark Replura. Because, for once, they weren't where they normally are. And I found a couple back here. Um, unfortunately, they're both pretty low levels, um, which is unfortunate, but uh, I can't take both of them, otherwise I'd tame both of them. So we're just going to pick up this one, and we're going to take it back to the base. Oh, that's not good. Drop that guy off. Asshole. Can I carry you without you doing that by chance? That would be fantastic. I was really hoping for a 150, because now if we want to ever tame another one in the future, we're going to have to go create that bloody broth of enlightenment again. But I want to try and get this guy out of this area, because it's going to start getting really cold, and I do not have winter gear with me. As you can see, we've extended beyond the map wall, because I just could not get them to spawn on the side that I needed them to. That's, you know, the basic the, the thing about it is. Alright, so we got to put in Ghost to go through the map wall. Once we're on the other side, we write Walk, and everything is back to normal. So I'm going to fly this guy back to our base, and I'll see you guys and girls over there. Okay, guys and girls, so I've decided to put the Broth of Enlightenment away for future taming, seeing as this guy's level is so low. Um... Basically, I ran out of stamina and I dropped him in the water, but he ended up going up on the beach just over here, so he should still be over here. Hanging out somewhere, I hope. Considering how much of a pain in the ass it was to find him, there he is. Alright, so I've got bug spray with me. Now, from what I've read, the easiest thing to do is just to lure him in the water because they will lose aggro as long as it's deep enough. But we're going to put this on. And it is recommended not to wear your armor because it will just melt the armor if it gets you at all. Okay. What I need to do is I need to get this on the last taming slot. I don't know where it went. It's back here. It's attacking something, which is probably good because it means it's distracted. That thing is fucking creepy. I don't care who you are. You cannot tell me this doesn't creep you out. It's making me nervous just trying to get, like, to tame it. Because of how fucking freaky it is. Oh, God. It's going to spin around and see me. It's going to be facing me now. Please stay distracted. Oh, please stay distracted. Stop attacking everything known to man. Oh, I'm fucking over this. Let me tame you, let me tame you. Ah, no! Ah! Oh god, it may make me pass out. No, I need to get away as far as possible. Okay. Oh, hello, Pelagornis. Where is its little area that you... Alright, follow me, bitch. Don't hit me. You gonna follow me in the water? Yeah, you are. Um. Yes! That's the way to do it. Get in the water. That is the way to do it, dude. Come on, buddy. Uh, you are fucking disgusting. <laughs> Just gonna be brutally honest with you, dude. You creep me out. Alright, let's look at these stats. 1100 health, 360 stamina, uh, 114 weight. I don't even think I could sit on it with what I've got on me right now. 
without it being just encumbered. Look at how the saddle sits. Look at that shit. Oh, God, yeah, I'm encumbered real bad, right? Yeah. What am I weight-wise right now? 700. Oh, no. Wait. How's it encumbered? Okay. Um. Is there anything I can drop? Not really. Um. There's nothing I can really drop to ride this guy. Oh, God. Maybe we could... Alright, so let's just check him out. His right click is his acid spit of doom. Left click is that attack. What does that look like? Look at all these little feelers and shit, dude. Look at this. That's fucking gross. Let's see if we can get him to attack the camera. Rawr! Does that creep you out? It creeps me out. Alright guys and girls, so I was able to get its weight bumped a little bit, so now we can actually ride this thing around with our tech gear on. Look at this thing, dude. It is, like, it's awesome looking, like, I love the rainbow, it looks, whoa. It looks fantastic. It's just fucking creepy though, dude. How would you not be creeped out? Look at the massive feelers on, the, like, the massive, like, whatever that is on the back, pinches. 528, 877. That is fantastic. Okay, so it doesn't do too bad a damage. And it's a very, very cool dinosaur. Well, insect, bug, whatever the fuck you want to consider it. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. This will be the last episode that I am pre-recording, and that for when I go away. So, I should be able to read your comments um, after this episode onwards. But I do appreciate the support in episode 59 when I talk about my anxiety and that it re I really do appreciate the support, guys and girls, so, so, so much. So, if you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more ARK Survival Evolved in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.